Hello, good morning friends. I am Professor Naresh Rakha. While serving the university as the Dean of Postgraduate Studies, I realized that graduate students feel a lot of fear and trepidation and at the same time there is excitement about writing the research paper and especially the first one. I believe that writing a scientific research paper, though difficult, but is a skill which can be learned and mastered with right guidance and practice. I am sharing some general tips to write a great research paper, particularly the first draft based on my experience of over four decades of getting research papers published in journals and also from the wisdom of other experts. I used to teach a course on technical writing and communication skills to the graduate students and towards the end of this video, I am going to share three most important tips which will make the writing a fun. Are you ready? So we'll be discussing the important general guidelines first. And number one is know your topic thoroughly. Read extensively anything and everything about the topic of your investigation and bookmark the most relevant information. Read whenever you find time while experimenting, while researching or waiting for the results to come. While reading articles and books, Make note of the references or web links as this will make writing quite easy and you will be able to refer back to these resources quickly. Review and renew your literature search just prior to attempting the first draft. At a point of time when you know the topic by heart, when you can discuss it and talk about it without even needing to look at the original articles, you will find that writing the paper would come naturally to you. By now you are able to form important discussion points just from what you have read all because you understood what you are going to write that is the right time to start writing and the time is just now determine what your audience is who are going to be the primary readers whether students or researchers or academics anyway reviewers are always the primary and the most important audience. Then also determine what kind of paper it is. Is it full research article, short note or review article? I mean what is the intended purpose of this paper? Secondly, considering the journal's impact factor and financials, enlist at least two to four journals to which you intend to submit your paper to. Don't decide on just one journal. Always review the manuscript requirements for the journal of interest and there is no point of writing a paper that does not follow the manuscript requirements, it will probably be returned unreviewed with some nasty note from the editor. Please note that writing the initial draft is the creative part of the job. What you need to do is to resist the temptation to correct and edit as you write your first draft. Your job now is to produce a complete first draft and not the perfect first draft. Editing should be the second stage of the work. Writing the first draft is the critical thinking and analytical part of the job. Editing at this point of time before you complete the first draft is going to be the waste of time. So let's discuss the standard operating procedure for writing the first research article. Most important and the first tip is just get started. Don't procrastinate. Number two, do not write the introduction first. It is the hardest part of the paper to write. It could be a waste of time to write the introduction at the very first. The third step is begin with the easier part of the task. That is experimental section followed by results and discussion section. This is the easiest part and once you start working on it, it will give you a sense of progress and that will diminish the procrastination. Step number four for the results section, since you have the data, so writing this section is also easy. Create the outline by making a list of all your tables and figures. Put them in order of presentation as they may appear in the results and discussion. The logical sequence of data tables and figures is your paper's outline. Outline is now the basic framework divided into several subsections. You need to work upon one data table and one figure at a time. If you have to stop, pause after completing the subsection you are working upon. You can easily pick up the writing at a later date. Step number five, while writing the first draft, take notes indicating what references might be needed and would be about. But don't stop to collect the references and adjust them 
in a sequence manner at that time because it can interrupt the entire flow of the work then comes the really hard work critical editing where you make sure that the english is coherent and the science is correct step number 6 write the conclusion in very crisp and pithy language preferably in a numbered format step number 7 is for writing the abstract try to bring in all important points included that materials and methods results and discussions and conclusions in the briefest possible way while maintaining the clarity of expression and ease of understanding for the reader step number 8 do acknowledge each and every one who has contributed but is not a co-author of your research paper step number 9 Here comes the stage of writing the introduction. Two most important things to address is why was the study done? What is its purpose? So, collect the relevant essential background information, put them together in the introduction. You should give the reader sufficient background to understand what you did. Step number 10. Final step will be to collect the references put them in order or sequence as per the pattern of target journal. You may like to add an automatic reference generator while working on to the document there are software packages that allow the writer to add citation on the go and fix references as citations are added removed and are edited step number 11 at the end decide on the title which should truly reflect the content of the research article and should be attractive but short step number 12 now rearrange all the section in the commonly used sequence or as per the format of the journal and they generally are first of all title then authors abstract introduction experimental design material and methods results discussion conclusion acknowledgement and bibliography now you have got the job done at this stage i also recommend that you leave your paper for 2 to 3 days and then print it and review your own paper like a critical reviewer okay now time for the three most important bonus tips number 1 in first go write very simple sentences with focus on information you want to transmit to the reader at the time of revision you can bring in your communication skills in language make good sentences at more meaningful with true expression of thoughts our scientific arguments in the discussion section should be correct and logical emotions intuitions and projection should always be avoided bonus tip number 2 while writing research paper we have to focus on our critical skills of analyzing interpreting and correlating the findings and here is the most important tip reviewers are the most important audience and gatekeepers of the journal who regulate what will go in that journal their concerns must be attended to get all their concerns on the first draft address the best of your knowledge and expression it is better to get their nod on first revision itself to ensure that your paper gets finally published in that particular journal i hope this video is helpful do give your feedback in comment section we are going to discuss about how to write an e chapter individually in our coming videos of this channel so do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that the new videos on this topic whenever is published is notified to you thank you bye bye take care